必必切哦，这。All right, so, uh, I have established the baseline tune on my carburetor, and it's been driving okay. But I have been reading more into it, and I found out that a big part of、uh, the、uh, reason why this, like, w- when they put this this carburetor together for this truck, they make it for torque. And they、uh, make it like for like the low end of the RPM scale. And so I have looked into the emulsion tube and how it, it influences the、uh, essentially the power band, the behavior of the engine. I don't know how to say it, but essentially, see here's the old one. This is a、uh, an F five or an F fifty. You see right there, and then this is a new one that I'm gonna put in there right now. It's called the F six, and if you can see the difference in the holes, see how this one doesn't have any towards the very bottom, and this one has some more t- towards the bottom. Well. That means that this one, as the fuel drains out of the little hole that has the emulsion tube,、uh, when it replenishes, it'll replenish a lot sooner through these holes. And、uh, you know that's why these,、uh, well, at least when you buy these carburetors for the trucks, they seem to run out of steam in the high RPMs. And、uh, I. You know, I, I might ultimately end up just like soldering this one shut and redrilling it out, but I'm gonna play around with like, you know, known factory specs on the、uh, emulsion tubes, so that way it's like, you know,、uh, it's just easier to know to replicate, and I'm not like totally in the dark, you know, on what I'm like doing. And、uh, well, here we are. I'm gonna change out the 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 secondary emulsion tube. I can't get out of there. I'm gonna try it again right now, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to get it out. I'm not sure what I'm gonna be able to do, but I don't know. I'm gonna have to like get the carburetor hot or something. I'm not really sure, but、uh, I'm gonna change out the like first one at least. And well, here we go.、Right, so I got the emulsion tube in there, and let's see what she does. I know there's like a whole range of like emulsion tubes, and eventually I'm gonna get the、uh, secondary one out of there. But、uh, I don't know. I, I think I'm going in like the right direction because when when I do turbo it, like I just ordered the、uh, gas for it for my welder, and well, I'm, I'm gonna weld the、uh, manifold up. And I'm gonna have to rebuild the、uh, turbo and put like a a, a 360 degree bearing in there because right now it just has like a 270 or whatever, and I just want to like you know make sure. And then with that turbo, it is a it is like a Chinese turbo, and one of the problems with it is、uh, you get 
boost creep or, or, or something where like the wastegate hole isn't like big enough and so it doesn't like relieve the pressure or, like fast enough but uh, I don't know I'm just gonna have to uh, you know like make, make a, a video about it because I got a whole kit for it and stuff but uh, I don't know I feel like I'm headed in the right direction for turbo and uh, once I get the uh, secondary one out of there it'll be like a lot better you know for the uh, just for because like I could like put you know like a way bigger main jet and stuff and like a way bigger idle and everything you know but I really just want this engine to be able to do what it, what it needs to do, you know, at, at the higher RPMs, and I'm hoping to, to grind down the uh, camshaft to get it into, like, like, essentially my goal is to get it to rev all the way to, like, 8,000 RPMs without any problems, you know, and I mean, I know I'm going to have to, like, get some, like, billet rocker arms, and that's, like, something like way in the future like that's probably not gonna happen in this season of b2k all day but you know what i mean like i don't know like i just like i said in the last video like i don't want to be one of those dudes that like gets into this truck and then oh because i don't understand it like i get frustrated and oh well it don't make power and blah 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 you know it's, it's so, I don't know. Thank you for watching. And, uh, I, like I said uh, at the beginning of this video, I, I just got back from uh, vacation. I was out in uh, Kentucky. And uh, so I haven't really had any time to film other than today. And, well, I'm going to be going through the uh, tuning steps with you guys. Uh, I think that maybe I can go up like a few jet sizes on the main jet. I'll probably just do like by five, you know, up on the primary and then the secondary, uh, you know, uh, I guess carburetor, I don't know, because the, the throttle, I don't know how to say it, you know, whatever. But thank you for watching and be sure to like and subscribe and let me know. Thank you. Okay, so. I want to like talk about my illustrations I have, you know, these little diagrams that I have at the very end of each video. And well, this is like I'm trying something new, so bear with me. Here. But okay, so the emulsion tube goes right here, and as you can see, this is like you know what I have showing for for fuel. It's uh, it goes from the inlet through the needle and see into the the fuel bowl through the main jet and then up through the emulsion tube. If you can see in this picture, it's probably isn't the best angle, but I don't know. Like essentially, the emulsion tube is like solid on the bottom the only the holes that you see in it is the only holes in it and then on the top and so the uh, the fuel you know comes up it's let like imagine if you're just idling you know okay well it's just sitting at, at about this level you know about but yay or, or yay you know I'm not exactly sure you know but uh, Anyways, so the fuel goes up from the main jet, you know, that when you change that out to a bigger one or small, uh, it goes up, and then, you know, as you, like, open up the uh, throttle plate, and the gas comes flowing through, and it aerates, it, it, uh, it slowly, like, empties out, and then where it empties out, and then it replenishes because mind you at the very bottom you look right here and right here you know it's uh there's just no hole you know and uh, and uh 
So anyways, that's what dictates where at, uh, you know, like, if it's up here, well, then that means that the gas is about here, or right here, you know, and from an idle, your, your fuel bowl is full, and then it goes down, down, you know, okay, you're going up in the RPMs, and then if you see the stock one for this truck, the F, F50 uh, emulsion tube, and uh you know the, the, there's no holes in the bottom you know and uh so that's why the nature of the carburetor on the btk seems to run out of steam in the higher uh rpms and you know okay so it goes down and then it'll like replenish you know when when you let off the gas but essentially this little channel of fuel is pretty much what dictate what's actually being put into the uh, you know from from like a sitting idle and then you just punch it that's what what you know like is dictating how fast uh, you, you're getting fuel and then obviously this is a progressive carburetor and you have the progression circuit which is the idle jet which I have another diagram and I'll do like another video like this uh, but this is like the first time that, that I'm even using any kind of program like this so bear with me and then I'll have like a whole guide like uh, I'll just walk you through the whole step, you know, from from the like PSI, like the fuel pressure, and all the way to you know where it comes out and it's like atomized into the cylinder or into the intake manifold and then to the cylinder. But for right now, we're just talking about the emulsion too, and that's what I want you to understand is that. Okay, from a sitting idle, and then the gas level goes down, down, and then it gets to a point where it just, you know, it just, well, it, at least the the F50, because F50 is, uh, what I read is that it's designed for, uh, for, uh, you know, like, uh, fuel efficiency. I'm sorry, uh, <laughs> but yeah, and then the, F, the F6 that I put in there it has some holes in the bottom, and I believe that's why on the upper RPMs it uh, acts a little better you know, at, at wide open throttle. But I think we're getting to a point in the carburetor where the intake manifold itself, the adapter plate, is actually uh, like the amount of air that it lets through there is kind of hindering it and well i'm gonna probably end up having to like hog it out and make it bigger make the whole the, the whole bigger i don't know how to say that i guess the adapter plate the, i don't know uh I don't, I don't know the right word for that but Anyways, it's the part that at the base of the uh, carburetor, where it sits right here, you know, the adapter, it, it, it's kind of like smaller, and I think that that's the uh, limiting factor. That's why the when I pull from from like 3,000 RPMs to, uh, you know, I get it to up to about six sometimes, but you know I, I almost think i'm going downhill you know on the little stretch of freeway that i like test out on, so but right now we're, uh you know just I, I want you to understand how the emulsion tube works and essentially you know from sitting you know because this is like the same level of fuel you know it sits up there and then you take off and the fuel goes down and as it replenishes that like where the holes are and I, and I know I'm like repeating myself but whatever dude I mean I, hey, I had to like scour all over and read a bunch of different books to like really understand myself whatever but I don't know
know. Thank you for listening. And I hope that uh, you're understanding pretty good on what I'm talking about. Thank you. And then one more thing, uh, I kind of like forgot to even mention, but so as as the fuel comes up through the emulsion tube, uh, it actually like the air from the air corrector is another thing that will dictate you know how that the fuel gets aerated and then atomized you know uh i just you know what you said and then not only with the main jet and the air corrector there's a certain amount it should be like about 60 jet sizes but also understanding how the emulsion tube and the air corrector also play a part i would like this whole little channel right here plays a huge part in how the whole carburetor is going to act you know a lot of people they'll just slap in a, a bigger main jet or really just a bigger main jet and then maybe i don't even know like i've read some stories where somebody turboed this carburetor and he ran it on the 36 side without any kind of main jet and I would assume he probably had the F50 emulsion tube because he he just changed the main jet and then he put like a three millimeter needle and seat, which is like a huge amount of fuel. But it's it, that's not the right way. You know? That's just not the right way. You know? And I think he was running like E85. So whatever. But just I want you to also understand, you know. The, the air corrector this, that's what dictates the air coming through the top of the, the emulsion tube and then it's gonna like uh, you know come that, like, the, like it, the air comes down through here and then the gas comes in through here and then it comes out these holes at the very top and that's what you see right here and that's it Thank you, and I don't know, I hope you guys enjoy this, because like, I get a kick out of making these videos, so thank you.